Hello everyone, welcome back to First Orbit where I'm going to try out the Mars Challenge which will involve actually landing on Mars and then I, I don't know if it's coming back as well, but probably coming back as well. And I'm not doing this in Sandbox because I hope that the Mars Challenge starts out so that we're lined up with Mars uh, at the right timing. Uh, the time warp seems to be limited to a factor of 9,999, which may or may not be too restrictive. It might take a while for us to line up like that. Uh, we'll see. But Anyway, here we are, and here's a plucky little rocket. The problem with landing is that we don't have an absolute number for our speed. And I've learned the hard way that it's very important to pay attention to your speed when you're landing. I've uh, tipped over on the moon many times uh, because I had just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of residual velocity. Uh, but, all right, a tiny bit of horizontal res residual velocity in that case. But okay, let's try this out. So, um, throttle up, and we are going to press E to engage engine and try to turn properly this time. Oh, it's actually keeping track of our fuel. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, I think I overdid it. Okay, well, we'll round it out over there. 69, huh? Well, that's fine. If the sort of propellant we need for stuff is correct, well, that's sort of complicated. Then we should have plenty, though. So when you think about it, I mean, when a rocket launches off of Earth, it uses the vast majority of its propellant in order to get into orbit, and everything else is a small proportion of it. So I don't know how it's measuring the fuel right now, but most of the delta V you get is from the last bit. And so we probably have quite a lot of delta V left, and we needed 9,000 to get into orbit around Earth. You need 3,000, let's uh, say 4,000 to get to Mars, and then you need maybe 2,000 to capture. If we're, we've got no atmosphere to help us, 4,000 to land. So that's 10,000, 4,000 to make orbit again, 14,000, uh, 2,000 to return home. Uh, 16,000 and then you'd need another 9,000 to kill velocity because we don't have the atmosphere helping us and Mars is not in the right place okay so time war factor is T and G so it increases T so let's do that and what we want is basically a 45 degree angle between Earth and Mars with Mars ahead but it could be an interesting challenge. Can you do it with less fuel or what? whatever? I think I'll take that right there. And so we have to remember, we want to go out this way. And to do that, we want to burn prograde around here so that our orbit goes out that way. So let's sort of turn in the right orientation first. It's always interesting doing this stuff without like maneuver planning or anything like that. Got to remember your fundamentals. So like that is how we want to go out, along with the orbit of Earth. And V? Oh, okay. Alright. Um, it doesn't look like we're encountering Mars quite right, so... Maybe we should have frame Mars? Oh. I don't know what to make of that, actually. Frame Sun? Okay, uh, so we actually have gone too far. Okay, well, does that make any difference around Mars? Well, uh, uh, Mars is definitely perturbing our orbit there. Let's see, 1% throttle. So, alright, uh, warp factor 9,999 seems okay for this purpose. We're ways away from Mars though. We probably should just try a match velocity. We're behind. We need to catch up. Fortunately we don't have to worry about food or anything. I'm just gonna manually try and lift our orbit and then catch up and try and meet up with it the next time around. Well that looks closer, right? <laughs> um, uh, uh, well, maybe we need to time warp a little bit more because we can't see what's going on right now. Okay, that looks nice. That looks nice. I'll take that. 
Okay, time warping. Yeah, we're still pretty far away though. I've been very lax about everything. Okay, well, here we'll capture. Well, that's serious perturbations right there. No, I want a simple capture. It's definitely end body physics. Uh, including the outer planets would make this much more complicated too. Just in terms of calculating the end body physics. Uh, we don't need so much plot time anymore. Well, we need more than that though. <laughs> uh, prediction mode long. That's uh, V for predi prediction mode long and C for prediction mode short. Um, maybe we can just go short, but when we bring that orbit in, they'll be fine. One other piece of information we don't have is the altitudes, right? So I didn't know how close we were getting. I still don't know how close we're getting to Mars exactly. So it still looked pretty far away. The problem is the icon stays the same size, right? Out here, the icon's like that. It's the same size here. So I, you can't judge from the radius or diameter of the icon how far away from Mars you are. So that's why I've been sort of loose instead of, you know, getting in tighter. Once you uh, scroll into this point, then it starts getting bigger though. Here you can tell, but in, at the higher levels you can't. Okay, this way. I mean, do I really want a tight, tight orbit? That's a good question. Uh, it's possible that we actually want to keep it loose and do the whole thing where we cut all our velocity and come down straight. Another problem is like things happen very suddenly because uh, time warp one things seem to happen very fast around here. When you think about it, an orbit around Mars is about two hours long, but we are not going that slowly. That's why time warp 9999 worked for the transfer too. If one was real time, then it wouldn't have, but one is not real time. Landing at the pole is a good idea. I recognize Mount Olympus, those three mountains. That's good. Very familiar. Now, can I land? That's the question. Uh, throttle is fairly low. Oops, wrong key for throttle. Okay, that's too much. Okay. Well, we're coming straight down like I wanted. Oh, oh, E. Oh, no, 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 no! No, come back! Ah. Oh. A defocus because I used my mouse and I clicked in the wrong place. <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. <sighs> one more time. One more time. We can. We will try one more time. Okay. Up we go. Okay, that's fine for now. That's a nice orbit. Uh, 71 fuel left this time. I'm just gonna land on Mars, I'm not gonna come back. I'm very afraid of Earth gravity. <laughs> Earth gravity is going to kill us, that's for sure. 
I can barely land on Mars for heaven's sakes in this one third Earth gravity. Okay, we'll take that and let's see. Let's do one more orbit. Oh, I, I, I keep uh, trying to use the time warp keys from Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so this time I want sun fixed velocity right away. And we want plot time much longer. Uh, maybe we should just go Mars focused and then see. Hey. Is that really closer? Here. No, that's further away. Doesn't seem to be bending our orbit and we're not getting that close. So, okay. I will have to do a mid course correction or something. All right, let's focus our on, on our own vessel. And time warping. We'll do a mid-course correction here, so Mars frame. Ah! Throttle needs to be much lower. Okay. Way. Well, that'll be decisive. Um, I, I don't know what... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that. That seems good enough. Okay, so coming like that. Not ideal, but in this case, probably for the best. We've also got a low thrust mode, but considering how we landed, I think I'll keep that to high. Okay, we're probably close enough to focus on Mars. Interesting kink in our orbit. Does it actually follow that? No, actually it doesn't. Look, it's going off. Okay, well we better uh, get some more throttle in and retro. Okay, we have made orbit around Mars. Just on uh, on the straight transfer this time, instead of going all the way around the sun. That's good. That's a lot of in-body. Okay, let's cut that down a bit. Okay, well, we're going to try this again. I don't think we need to be in this high in orbit, though. I don't know if like the low thrust mode is specially designed for landings or something. Okay, we are in time warp one. It feels really fast. Mm. Oh no no. I think we've landed. Is that right? We landed! This is the first time I have landed on another body or even Earth in first orbit. We have 41% of our fuel left. Um, let's make Earth orbit, maybe. Oh, no. No, I'm done here. I'm done here for today. <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, is We'll, we'll stop on this achievement because anything else is liable to be a disaster. So we'll stop having achieved a landing on Mars. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.